Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of the Roberts Zen. Roberts has two types of product, the Zen and the Zen Plus. The Zen Plus has a few more features. You can tell which one you have simply by looking at the color of the main button on the top here. The Zen has a body colored button, in this case the duck egg, and the Zen Plus will always have a silver button. Check the link in the description if you have a Zen Plus because we'll also be doing a video to take you through the Zen Plus. When you set the unit up for the first time, make sure that you unwind the cables fully. This is the antenna, and then this is the power cable. You will also want to remove the film that's on the front screen to enable you to see it clearly. And also, around the back, you'll see a pull tab. Pull this out. This engages the backup battery and allows you to make sure that when you set alarms or time that it's retained. Also, for full instructions, you'll see on the back there's a QR code. To make use of this, what you do is you take a phone and you hold it up and scan it. And it will take you through to a full web page which basically takes you through every single feature in a more traditional format. So let's get into the Robert Zen. To power it up, make sure that you use the supplied Robert's power supply. This one will ensure the best possible radio performance. And if it's the first time you've powered it up, then the time will probably not be set. So the first thing you'll want to do is to adjust the time. To do this, you push and hold the multifunction button for two seconds. At which point you see the day start to flash down here. I can change the day with these left and right buttons. You'll see it's scanning along the bottom there. So it's Tuesday today. And to move to the next field, I push the button and I can choose 12 or 24 hour clock. I like a 12 hour clock. Again, push the button. And now I'm setting the hour. It is nine and 32. I hear a, a beep sound as an acknowledgement and that tells me that now the time is saved. You'll notice the screen goes bright and dark. The reason is as I'm moving around and shooting this video, different amounts of light are being detected by this little pinprick here, which is underneath the Roberts logo. And the reason it does that is so that at night, if it's really dark, the screen goes into a dark state and all the buttons are hidden. And that means that you don't get disturbed by the display at night. If you want to use the product at night and can't see the buttons, it's not a problem. You just push any button and then it wakes up the screen enough for you to be able to see it. The next thing we'll do is have a quick look at the radio. So to turn the radio on, I push the multifunction button once. And we're now the playing radio. Now, I'll turn this down so you can hear me. In order to tune the radio, I can push the button one time and it will do a fine tune adjustment. So each will go a point one of a megahertz like this. If I want to scan to the next station automatically, I can push and hold the button and it will scan and automatically find the next station. Now I may want to save the station, so to do that I push and hold the part icon and that has now saved that radio station in the first slot. I'll save another, I'll save another station. Here's another radio station. I'm going to push and hold and I'm going to save it in the next slot, which is slot two. If I want to recall a radio station, what I do is I push the heart icon briefly and it allows me to scan through my radio stations. How's the... I'm sorry. That's preset number two. If we've set number one, because it's got a code UK, some people worry it. And after a moment, it'll go back. Get into their everyday life. True, you might have to miss your brother in law's open mic night. And the odd one. 
Now, obviously, the main thing you'll want to do with this, I would imagine, is use the alarm feature. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to push and hold the alarm button. And this is now asking me to set alarm one. So I will go ahead and do that. The first thing it's asking is which day we want the alarm to set. So at the moment it's flashing all day, so that's a daily alarm. A go forward one is now just weekdays or weekends or all days. So I'm going to choose all days and I'm going to go ahead and choose nine and or 39. Now, we've got a bell icon ringing, which means it's the, uh, it will be the buzzer that goes off, or I can switch it to the tune icon, which will be the radio station. In this case, I'm going to go with the buzzer. And then finally, the volume. I'll make it a bit louder. Number 13. Push. That's now set, so we can see that alarm one is lit here down at the bottom. Now, I may not want the alarm to be set, but I don't want to go through the whole process of setting and unsetting the alarm. So what I can do is I can short press the alarm button and it will cycle through alarm one, alarm two, both alarms or no alarms. So now there's no alarm set because there's no icon at the bottom. If I want to set my alarm, I just short press. It says it's off, push it once and now it's showing the alarm is on. So just to recap, a short press on the heart icon is a way to recall your favorite station. A long press is a way to save your radio station. A short press on the alarm switches between the alarms being on and off. And a long press on the alarm puts, it, puts the alarm into set mode. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to wait a minute and allow the alarm to go off. So the alarm sound is now ringing and it slowly increases in volume. And what I might want to do is snooze. So to do that, I push the big button on the top. And we now can see that the snooze icon is flashing. After nine minutes or so, the alarm will now come back in and it will continue to ring. But if I want to cancel the alarm, I can either push the alarm button, which cancels the alarm immediately, or I can just push the multifunction button whilst in snooze mode and that now cancels the alarm. So to recap, if the alarm's going off and I want to turn it off immediately, I just push the alarm button or I can push the multifunction button and that enters snooze mode. And if I push the multifunction button again, it will then cancel the alarm. And that's about it for the Roberts Zen. So I really hope you enjoy using your product we're very proud of it. Thank you very much for watching.